when I go into the new year, and welcome back, YouTube, uh, I'm going to start a new run on Mass Effect. It's going to be fun. I haven't played Mass Effect this year. I am, however, going to be playing uh, Ma Dial of Boy. Right? That I'm going to play uh, the sequel to the 2018 Dial of Boy game, Dad and Rock. I'm going to play that starting probably sometime next week. I don't know. Uh, I just have to get my PS4 plugged in and raring to go as usual. So there's nothing wrong there. Lately, I've been playing on my PS3. But I will uh, be going for Dadnarok next week. So Hitman is going to take a bit of a back seat. Going to be playing uh, Mass Effect. Let's... There's the Dead Space remake coming next month. I want that. I'm playing that. That is like number one with a goddamn bud after Dadnarok I'm going to be playing. Oh, that is I that I'm not even saying no. I'm get I'm fucking getting that. I'm fucking pre. I don't fucking care. I'm pre-ordering that son of a bitch. I am pre. I am breaking a big ass rule here and pre-ordering the fucking game. I know it's a lot of it. Shouldn't do that, but I want it. It's a it's a thing. You never want to pre-order a game until it's come until it's come out, been out for a little bit, and then all the bugs have been fixed. But fuck it, I'm doing it. I'm I'm buying it. I want it on Steam though. Is it on Steam? Is it on Steam? One sec, I'm actually gonna check. Whoa, fuck me, fifty quid. Yeah, it's on Steam and on Origin, so I could play. I could have it on either, so I'm not that fast. Ooh, 50 quid though. Ouch. I'm glad I get paid next week. There's also uh what there was another game I wanted to play that wasn't Dead Space. Which one was it? It's not Saint it's not the remake of Saints Row. I do want to play Modern Warfare 2, the, the remake. I want to play that. Crisis Core Reunion. I want to play that. I do want to play that. That looks real good. 70 bucks. Woo! That's a lot of bucks. Well. One sec. Uh, right on Steam right now, it's about 51 quid. I want to play the campaign. I know a lot of people just say, oh, you should just play more. You should do the multiplayer. You should. I want to play the campaign. That seems fun to me. The campaign always stays fun. I like the campaign a lot, but... Uh, I'll, I'll probably get that. I need to play the... Um, I need to play the 2019 Call of Duty. The uh, Modern War... The original... that The reboot Modern Warfare. I need to play that. So I will be doing that. I do want to play Crisis Call. I love that on PSP. I broke my own heart selling that for the PSP because my PSP is dead. It is dead. The battery just literally inflated and died. I haven't got a spare one and I can't charge my I can't charge my other one up because I don't know where that fucking Uh that's God. Oh damn. I need to finish Final Fantasy VIII Remastered again. I've got so many games I want to play. There is so many different games I want to play right now. I'm, I'll list off the game. I'm. These are the games I'm probably going to get within the next couple of weeks. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, the, the trilogy. I'm going to get that. Dead Space Remake. I'm going to get that. Horizon Zero Dawn, I'll probably pick up again. Because uh, I had to sell it because I needed the cash and I wasn't playing it. And I should have, like a dummy. Um, I'm going to get Dadnarok. That is going to be the first I'm going to play. So it's going to be Dadnarok getting. Then it's going to be Dead... Then it's probably going to be Dead Space. I'm not going to lie. It's probably going to be Dead Space. Horizon Zero Dawn I probably will get. Uh, Crisis Core I'm going to pick up. Because I love that game on the PSP. It looks so fucking good. It was really good. Plus it filled in a lot of backstory. But 
by God, was it fucking annoying at times. And I'm going to get the uh, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy because I want to play that game. That looks like a fun game to play. Plus, it's got cool characters. Oh, one sec. I'm, uh, I just need to message you for a hot second. How crazy is that? It's only a half party black and white sketch. So what would you think about playing Dadnarok? Because I've seen it. I've seen it all. And for the life of me, there's only one thing I can actually remember from that game. And I can't remember chat shit. I, ca I, sh I watched 18... Bods, and I can't remember jack shit about it. About the full game. I cannot remember anything. It's not the fact of that's how bland a story it is. It's just the fact of. Oh, yeah, definitely. I just can't remember. It should, it should be. It should be good. I can remember. Uh, part of it being good, I can remember him. Go I can remember the guy I watched just going, "Okay, now I'm gonna do this. Now I'm gonna do this." Dead. Fuck. I can't remember a goddamn thing about it, aside from one thing, and that's not any. That's not plot related. It's not. I can only remember one thing, and it's like it's like one of the weapons he gets. I can't remember a damn thing beyond that. Yeah, one sec. I will. Uh, it's just I sent him, I sent him a message saying, "Would this be a good pose for a reward?" And he went, "Oh shit, I forgot all about yours." Oh yeah. By the way, I completely forgot to draw yours for the last two months. Fair enough. But, oh, oh yes. Uh, this would make a good reward for. This, I think, would make a good pose for something. Probably be, probably, uh, like, just someone just relaxing. But that would make a fantastic, this is going to make a fantastic pose. Anyway, on with the Hitman. I'm actually going to use my iPad so I'm not all tabbing out because that's just. What do you think? Maybe Perry, Yoko, or another character for that pose? Holy shit! do a different character I mean I've got like 200 plus I've literally taken uh, two characters out because uh, welcome to the Maldives 47. reasons I mean I could always it could always be like a, a pose for the 
Tanuki version of me that nearly drew. Is ready to receive you under your assumed identity as Tobias Reaper, a professional thief looking to retire from a life of crime. Ludmilla Vitrova can be found in the public sections of the island, primarily tending to client needs. Stephen Bradley alternates between looking after a strict training regimen mm. and working on a small private island. While Tyson Williams roams his large villa estate at the back of the island. But here's a here's the thing, Tanuki or Demon, because they're he's drawn me as a demon as well. The three owners of Haven should buy Miss Hall the time needed to do a full penetration and retrieval of the carbon part of the island. Best of luck, 47. Was that just me or did she just literally zone out? I could. Oh, I so could. That is Ludmilla Vitrova, English born, former Welcome confidence artist of Russian descent and current client handler for Haven. Careful with this one, 47. Okay, then. Thank you. All right. Are you one of the owners? Yes, indeed. I'm Ludmila Vitrova, co owner of Haven. And your gracious host for this day. There's so many characters I could do. I mean, that's it. Uh, I'm okay. I'm I'm gonna show you about four characters. I would like your opinion on them. I really need to get Henrietta drawn by someone other than Theo because my god the man has just the man has drawn hasn't drawn her a lot but my god he's really good at it uh, yeah. I might want to rename her but uh, probably not uh, Uh, yeah, just one more. Which of these ones do you think would suit? When I send them, of course. I definitely, definitely need to get her redesigned. Slightly bigger boobs. Slightly bigger. Not like super big, just a little bigger. Uh... Sorry, I'm... I'm getting very distracted and that is... Like, the worst thing for me to do. Getting distracted right now is definitely like the worst to do because I just I kind of just go oh, okay I'm I'm not gonna pay much attention and it'll be fine. Those are definitely those two I need to just get rid of. They're just going. Uh... Mm -hmm. 
I've never actually used that character. Not for a long ass time. Okay. Just in case anyone wonders, yes, I am a fan of mouse girls. Oh, I'm sure of that, Miss Petrova. Wonderful. Your late booking has me intrigued. In the meantime, our staff will take good care of your needs. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Petrova. Come find me when you're ready, Mr. Reaper. I think we have lots to talk about. If you haven't been to your hut yet, I highly recommend it. There's a letter there for you, which you may find interesting. Thank you, Miss Petrova. Uh... Okay. Press passing. How you doing? What the? How? How am I trespassing? Yeah, and don't come back. It's for your own good. What? Seriously. Where's my hut? Tyson Williams has I will just clip all these guys. It'll be fine. Uh, Lily. Nice. Yeah, she's good. I haven't used Lily in a while. Don't need to own. Hey, I need some help here. Something's up. A man is trespassing. No, I'm not.
God damn it. I should have just clipped them. I really should have. That is Tyson Williams has <laughs> That's for ruining the last run, you bastard. And you come here. I want no loose ends here. And you go. That's fine. Now, I'm fairly certain I am going to get frisked at some point. I never found my room. I'm fairly certain it's that one. But I don't know. I'm sorry. I killed a non-target. He was... He had ruined my day. Yo. Yo. Don't bro me. Doctor. I'm glad we don't have to talk to that Petrova woman anymore. Did you notice how clean she was last night? Portman could hardly get away from her. Embarrassing. She certainly seemed eager. I overheard her talking to one of the staffers as well. I can't really be wasted in my time. Uh, nope. Where do you think you're going? I'm a doctor. I'm. Now, let's see if I can get in without them noticing. Because I don't want to get frisked. on the line here you got it whoever stole mr williams usb key had access to the villa so it must be somebody working here nothing yet i've told the others this is the top one priority sir yes review the tape find the perp and get me that usb mr williams will reward you okay So, it's that one. And that one. I'm the doctor. Yes, well, I guessed as much. Follow me to Mr. Williams' room, please. And don't touch anything. We're cleaning the house today. If you say so, sir. Ah, there he is. That is Tyson Williams, CEO of Haven, a reputed paranoid tyrant. Williams is known for his bad temper and heavy Please handedness. Here, Doctor. I'm sure Mr. Williams will be along shortly. Excellent, 47. I hope you can offer the man some assistance. Oh, I hope to. I do hope to. Dr. Singh, 
Who the hell are you? Dr. Singh is tired. Quite a bit tired. He asked me to fill in. I knew I shouldn't have allowed him to bring that mistress of his here. I'm running a bad fever here, Doc. Burning up. I can't go outside. I can hardly stay inside. It started about ten days ago. Singh gave me those pills over there, but they aren't helping. They just give me a migraine. I think I need something stronger here, Doc. Remove your robe, please. I want to check your breathing. Hi. Go away. Back in. Goddamn, Butler. Yeah. The fuck's happened to this guy? So, you're running a fever, Mr. Williams? Yeah, I like how like 47 it. could just do More this. A week now, but the worst thing is the headache. Bad migraine, Doc. The light therapy doesn't help me a lot. What can you do for me? Let's have a quick look at you before we do anything <laughs> drastic, Mr. Williams. Fine, fine. Cough, please. Tell it to me straight, Doc. Is it bad? I got some very serious business to attend to, and I really don't have time for this shit. We'll be done soon. Turn around for me. <coughs> oh, hell! Can't you do anything to strangle this cough, Doc? I have a few <laughs> ideas, Mr. Williams. Williams eliminated. Excellent work. Take you out, you targets remain. Wake up. Oh shit. Come in. Anybody there? Come in. Put on the ground. The taser. Hey, calm down. What is wrong? I blame the doc. I should have clipped that though. I should have just. I. Real fucked up there. I should have had that butler gone. Out. Killed. Before he even got in the room. This way I would have got the five wires. <laughs> as much follow me to mr williams's room please and don't touch anything we're cleaning the house today mm -hmm. Excellent, 47. I hope you can offer the man some assistance. That was for ruining my plan the last time. I'll sit down. Wait, you're not Dr. Singh. Who the hell are you? Dr. Singh is tired. Long night. He asked me to fill in. I knew I shouldn't have allowed him to bring that mistress of his here. Can't go 
outside. I can hardly stay inside. It started about ten days ago. Sing gave me those pills over there, but they aren't helping. They just give me a migraine. I think I need something stronger here, Doc. Remove your robe, please. I want to check your breathing. It looks like he's banned out on all the drugs. Either that or the insects are real fucking boom for him. So, you're running a fever, Mr. Williams? Yeah, like I said, more than a week now, but the worst thing is the headache. Bad migraine, Doc. The light therapy doesn't help me a lot. What can you do for me? You're not taking your medicine? The pills give me headaches. I have important work to do. Let's have a quick look at you before we do anything <laughs> bit. drastic, Mr. Williams. Fine, fine. Tell it to me straight, Doc. Is it bad? I got some very serious business to do. Well, yeah. I mean, we've been through the entire Arkham series. Steve Bloom is like one of the Don't big voices me. there. <laughs> oh, hell. Can't you do anything to strangle this cough, Doc? I have a few <laughs> ideas, Mr. Williams. Tyson Williams eliminated. Excellent work, 47. A notice kill. And you go. What God? That's the kind of god I would want to be, but uh Mr. Williams will be having a hard time paying you, seeing as he, how he's in, in a somewhat toasty place right now. Don't need to do that. Mr. Williams is is in a somewhat toasty place at the moment. It's 
a hot one today. Yes, it is. And right now, I can't disable the security feed without drawing attention, which is not what I want. Uh, let's have a full luxury around this place, because why not? I don't think I have before. Uh, starfish. Say what? Okay, did not mean to do that, but okay. I honestly did not mean to kill him. Oh well. He'll be fine. I'll be fine. Yeah, I'll be fine. I'm getting a lot of equipment here. Praise evil. It's literally getting rid of a guy just to uh, take his place and meet up with what's her name. See, they would have seen me. I like how doing this would just not would make people less likely to notice you. Hang on, that's Jason Portman, former CEO of Quantum Leap and current CEO of Much Talk. The disreputed social media network currently involved in a user data scandal. Why is he here, 47? I don't care why he's here. I'm, uh... So, that's Jason Portman taken care of. I wonder what Miss Vitrova will do now. I don't. Uh? Excuse me, you've dropped something. Yeah, I know. With it. Now. Come on, stand up. Okay. 
Opportunity knocks. Hello, sir. And she just bugged out or something. She's bugged out. What's up? Ah, hello. Uh, Mr. Portman was just asking for you over by the spa. It sounded important. Perhaps you should go and try and find him there. Hmm. God, this guy looks like a fucking animal. His computer. Hmm. Password. Better call Stephen. Excuse me, Forty Seven likes to be alone when he does this dirty deed. Ludmilla Vitrova has been permanently retired. Just one more target to go. Yeah, okay. it'll stay there. It'll be fine. God, it got dark all of a sudden, didn't it? Watch this. I got this far away from non target kill. Damn it. Good day. Hello. Stephen Bradley, notorious hacker, chief pro. Grammar at Haven, and rumored to be quite reckless in his behavior. So, that's Stephen Bradley taken care of. Well done. That's all we need to do from here. Miss Hall should be able to extract the information needed from the local servers. Good work. Some maniac? You call 47 some maniac? Thank God you're here. Damn it, he's gone. What's going on? Come on. Shoot that whiny son of a bitch. Oh, we'll do. Shoot. Over there. Flush him out. I got too Fuck it Stop I got too greedy I got too greedy I got way too greedy there What 
Hi. Josh. Good work, forty seven. Ludmilla Vitrova has been permanently Bye. retired. Just one more target to go. Now if I can get to this, if I, I know I just got too greedy, I got far too greedy there. Hey, why is that guy carrying a, a big gun on his back? We don't have them. Well, it must be a special god. Uh huh. I just got way too greedy. That was my fault. That was my problem. I don't do it. No one. Literal no one. I'm a burning. Bye bye. Oh. Yeah, it's not going to end well for me, I think. Get out of my way. No! Oh, now you can see me. Okay, so I need to get rid of that guard first. Knock him out, drag him out. Work 47. Ludmilla Vitrova has been permanently retired. Just one more target to go. There we go. Okay, now 
to get the guy without getting caught. Hi, how are you doing? Crazy evil and all that jazz. How do I keep getting caught? It's not fair. Hi. I'll take over from here, don't worry. Be safe. Yeah, I might have. That's fine, though. Pistol trainer, where the fuck is the pistol? Just hawking it from here will probably get me noticed. I don't know, but I kind of don't need a uh, you know, kill unnecessarily. At least not till I'm within like ten feet of an exit. Oh, I have a fresh disguise waiting for me. Oh no, what happens? Good work, God damn it, I keep getting caught there. Wow, that was like that was scary. This guy just up and died. Someone yucked a starfish in his head. That was scary. I'm leaving. I quit. Bye. That's it. Okay. Nice. I'm no unnecessary deaths. God, accident. Yep, accident. Accident. I mean, it was insane how it happened. He just up and got a starfish caught in his head. Oh, wait till you watch me play Metal Gear Solid 5 again. Because that's definitely a game I'm going to replay. I enjoy playing that game. You'll hear these words come out of my mouth so many times on so many different missions. It's a stealth mission. <laughs> As I'm killing office, everyone. So. We're in. Whatever your robot did back on the island, it worked. Let's see. Yeah, 
here we are. You found them? Yeah, right here. But, no, wait a minute, something's off. See here, all those controlling shares, those are basically the backbone of the Providence Empire, but, but they're not going to the new partner identities. What do you mean? I mean, they're allocated to someone else. Everything is. The partners are, are left with no real control. Who is Arthur Edwards? The Constant. How the fuck did he get out? Message from Olivia. Everything's going to plan. We know where the partners are. We have our targets. You're almost there, old friend. Feels good, doesn't it? We should head out before the storm hits. I've played through Metal Gear Solid, the Twin Snakes, two to five. Take them all down. If a friend of mine actually gets back to me and wants to do it, I'll redo five entirely. If not, I'll just do some redo missions, some, some streams of some redo missions. Because they're fun to do. They're always fun to do, but... There's always stuff I do want to do and I like to do in Metal Gear Solid 5. But it's something that I want to kind of... Yeah, I'd like to show with people. It would be, it'd be fun to do, especially, especially early game when you don't have, when you kind of hop, because i played through the game twice now. Twice? Twice. And, oh, anyway. Early game Metal Gear Solid 5 is very hard to do. It is insanely hard because one, you can't speak Russian worth a damn. You can't. Spoilers, by the way. Two, you actually have to get interpreters for this, so you have like real time communication. You can hear or understand what the um the Russian soldiers are saying in in Afghanistan. And when you move on to like the second map, you need an interpreter there. You can how you can stealth your missions. You can. You can go in, track everyone, and go, okay, I want you, 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 and you. Pulling them out, and anyone else is who is useless or garbage or has trash that bang. You know, X, the, the head guy in XOF, Skullface, he's not American. He is, uh, Moldavian or Romanian or Transylvanian. But I, I now need to look this up. Uh, that is Code Talker. Skullface, uh, is Hungarian, Northern Transylvania. But he speaks with a very, very good American accent. But, um, 
it's very hard to take Skullface as the main villain of um the main bad guy in Metal Gear Solid Five because all the Metal Gear Solid Five bosses, bar probably Quiet, are literally bullets. They are legit boring as fuck. They are. I'm not gonna lie. I love the game. It's unfinished, and I've finished it twice. The game, the boss fights are boring as fuck. Merely because all the bosses are bullet sponges. And yes, I get it. In Metal Gear Solid, all the bosses are kind of bullet spongy. But like, um, the bosses in. For the Beauty and Beast unit, they had a purpose. They had a good backstory. So you can kind of tell, yeah, they're going to be a bit... They're a bit bullet spongy, but they're also going to be fun to fight. Because they all have their different uh, things to do. Like, um... Laughing Octopus. She can disguise herself as anything or anyone. And at one point, she'll disguise herself as the Mark II. And you, ha you can shoot that, and that'll reveal her. She will be Naomi. The Raging Raven, I think. The one after you find Big Mama. She, you have to literally shoot her down. You have to use an RPG or a gun to shoot her down. So you've got different strategies there. In 3, it's the Cobra unit. They're so much fun. Every one of them you have to use a different strategy for. Like, um, was it the fear? That guy who literally is double jointed has this fucking massive tongue and then explodes into spikes. Is that the fear? You literally, you can feed him poison food. He will eat it and his stamina will dip. He will just try to throw it up. There he is, visible to you. You can get a couple of headshots on him. Oh, I fucking hated that. I really fucking did. It was just so stupid. Do you know how I kind of got around that and I cheesed it a bit? Side missions. Just a lot of side missions. That one. It literally... I did one repeat mission, then a ton of side missions. Metal Gear Solid 5, all the fucking main missions feel like side ops. Aside from the important ones that are in gold. Which are fucking side ops. And that pissed me off because they are the main story missions. It, Skullface is kind of hard to pin down. You know, all the bosses in 5 are so hard to pin down because they're all fucking boss sponges and they are all bland as shit. There is no individuality to these guys where the bosses in 2 are individuals. The bosses in 3, all individuals. Bosses in 4, individuals. The Twin Snakes, all individuals. Hell, the boss fight in Metal Gear and Metal Gear 2 had more fun. I've watched them all and it's like, okay, there's a certain strategy you have to do that isn't present in 5. Because the best you can do in 5 is like, okay, gun, shoot a lot, RPG, bang, take down that armor. The the mist unit, the, uh, the skulls, they are the fucking blandest Metal Gear Solid bad guys. I have had the mispleasure of ever actually fighting and i fought them twice and it is so fucking dumb and so bad the worst part is you can fault and distract them but you can't do it till after you've beaten the game what's the point if you've beat them fault and extract them and guess what you Oh, definitely. The, the best part is definitely when they turn up. I mean, the sni that sniper unit going to a cool talker's place, that was probably one of the best boss fights I've played. But at the same time, the cutscene was great, but it was just a sniper battle against four quiets. Just four quiets, that's it. The best boss fight 
that you can, uh, I can see in five. Two of the of all the boss fights is two that I like. Quiet and so Halanthropus. That's it. That's the only ones I liked. So Halanthropus because one, it there's like a mission objective. If you can get a missile into the cockpit, you've got that. That's great. You've got that. You can you can uh, do that easy enough as long as you are facing it with your RPG and it roars. You fire that second. You've got that. So Halanthropus was a great fight. But my god. The, the thing with the... I love Metal... I, I just love the Metal Gear Solid games. I do. So Halanthropus... Honest to God, I don't know why when it does... Oh, okay, we're going to do supply runs. We're going to have you do... We're going to just, you know, drop your supplies. You've got one about half... You've got one about a kilometer away. Like, a kilometer from where you're fighting. You've got to run to it. And you've got to avoid getting hit all that time. It's like, Ocelot, why do you hate me? Why do you want me to die? And Ocelot doesn't even feel like Ocelot. You see parts of it in the uh, mission where you have to rescue cars. That's it. Ocelot is literally toned down. He becomes a bit bland and... Oh, shit, that's, uh, that's actually come away. Oh, dear. Didn't notice that. He's become a bit bland and fine. And... I don't think... It, was, it wasn't Matt Mercer who did uh, Ocelot. I think it was Troy Baker. Was it? How is that? Uh... Is it an R or is it an O? I don't think it was Matt Mercer in 5. It was Troy Baker. Don't get me wrong, Troy Baker has done some fantastic roles. He has. I think it's just because uh, they, when they go down to a, a very deep voice, they they get the deep very good. They have that very deep voice. But... It literally... Literally, when um, when he is seeing what you have to do, he literally does the... He has the flair. He has that ocelot. And then he loses it. And it just goes to, why? What, why did you do that? That was... That was so... It's like in three, ocelot is this cocky, arrogant little shit who gets schooled in the first mission by Big Boss and then comes back. He's got the revolver. He's got three revolvers. He is such a show-off. He has the flair. He has all everything. Four, it's very, very toned down because Liquid's influence. In 2, it's definitely there. In Metal Gear Solid, it's definitely there. Because, you know, it's Ocelot. He's got, he's, you know, he's showing them, he's showing off. Oh. Excuse me. But. 5. It, Ocelot is just... He's just not there. He's, he's kind of there, kind of not, you know? There, there are times when Ocelot is definitely the character you remember in 5. 
He is definitely that character. But then it becomes point part of he he becomes like a very very toned down very eh he doesn't he doesn't have that same kind of flair as he does in the the first four oh he's definitely definitely the meta type I mean. When he has, when they have that um, touch scene when you go back to Mother Base, I I don't know which, I don't know what time it is, but it's after you get Diamond Dog, he literally has the whole, you know, where they're going like that. There's two doing it properly, and the other one doing the revolver style. He takes on the big boss roller going, that's good. You'll see, you're twisting your elbow to stop the recoil. Automatics don't have that. You would work much better with the revolver. And then engravings give you no tactical advantage whatsoever. And straight up steals the guy's gun. He just straight up steals the guy's gun. Let's not let's not lie, he does. But oh, there's just so much wrong with that game. Every main mission you do feels like a side arc. It does. Whereas one, two, Metal Gear Solid and the Twin Snakes, Sons of Liberty, Snake Eater. And the movie that is the Metal Gear Solid 4 Guns of the Patriots are very linear games. You start somewhere and you will end the game somewhere. Metal Gear Solid 5 is a very open world kind of game. And don't get me wrong, the gunplay there's the graphics even now seven years later seven years after launch is beautiful that is what the fox engine was built to do and it was made to make a metal gear game and then konami happened and it got wasted it is a very good Graphically, it is beautiful. Gunplay, menu-wise, is fantastic. The story, the story which was meant to tie up to Metal Gear, the was it the eighty-seven game? When was Metal Gear released? I think it was eighty-seven. Eighty-seven. The 1987 game. It was meant to tie right up into that. But Konami never gave it a chance. Because I don't know if it was... Because Konami was... Because Kojima was taking too long. Or if because... Um, they were just... Wanted it out. And and it wasn't ready. But. It literally doesn't have an ending. That last mission. Is. Is not there. That last mission is. Where it can tie into. Is just not there. And. It really hurt. It really hurt it.
I would... I would much rather not, I'd much rather it be finished, but it'll never happen, and that's sad. No worries, I'm going to continue on with the, um... The way that the Metal Gear Solid, the Metal Gear franchise ends, it's on the best game, but it ends on such a sour note. It is so sour, the way it ends, and it's just, eh. It could have been so much better. It could have tied everything together, but it didn't. Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives. In case you haven't played a secret Hitman on Hitman 2, the, the world assassination. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the Constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. I'm just gonna change my look. Local Texan. I don't know if I'll stream tomorrow, I might. Welcome to Dubai, 47. That's always good. No, I was in Mumbai. Today is the inauguration of the Scepter. And the ceremony is well underway. Wow. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. Oh. 47. Come in. 47, do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Use your camera and scan the lock, will you? Yep. I think I can override the Windows controls from here. I'm in this position. Is... This is basically if you, um... Place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. 
We are so close, Sporty-san. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere. Welcome to the Barge Al Ghazali. There's one of them, where's the other one? Welcome! Welcome! One. Hello! Good to see you. How lovely to see you. Fucking! I want to talk to the partners directly, make them understand why all of this is happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. There's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. We'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. Okay. I've actually done it all, by the way. You're not meant to be up there! Hello, I don't mean to pry, but upstairs, do you by any chance know who stays here? I hear you not Oh, Evie and Stuyvesant! Oh, you're here! How wonderful! You know, I didn't think you'd come after your tragic loss. Thank you, Vivian. I would love to chat, but the last thing I've done was a god. Hi. Excuse me. Oh god damn it, two of them. I just need one of you. Shit, shit, shit. Sorry, I just had an untied. It wasn't pretty. Quite a bit of security here. One moment. You ready for some more fresh air, 47? Really? I don't need fresh air. Can open that window remotely. Scan the lock with your camera and I'll have a try. Night. I know.
Sheikh Al Ghazali is reaching out to his worldwide network of lawyers and financial contacts, attempting to restore the lost power base of the Providence Partners. Isn't that nice? If Ingram and Stuyvesant were asked to a meeting, thinking they'll be told of new developments, I suspect they'd jump at the chance. There's a lounge area at the top of the building. It can be sealed off for private conversations. If we lure the targets there, they'll be trapped. Don't look at me. Just spider man him. He has amazing upper body strength. Anything else up here? Take the key. Hmm. A calendar function. We can use this to summon the partners to a fake meeting, body seven. Excuse me. All right, I'm no hacker like Olivia, but I think you need to pull one of the racks here to gain access to the terminal. Way. Hide 47. Oh. I'm gonna have a hammer. Yes, sorry about that, 47. Let's try again, shall we? Uh, I think I've got it. We'll need a key card to gain access. Someone in maintenance should have one we can borrow for a spell. It's me. I thought about what you said. Yeah, I changed my mind. One sec. I have it. I heard there was an exploding golf ball.
One sec. I kind of need to not have these guys. Kick it about when people can see them. There you go. No one was the wiser. Is that screwed over? No, that's just a, a, a monitor. That must have done something. Can you see anything different in the room? Wrong one. I think I pulled the wrong one. I pulled the wrong one. Seven reinforcements are incoming. More guards on their way. Get up, move it. Mm. Nope. I keep pulling the wrong one, I think. Okay, I really should stop. I wish I had the ICA gun. I really do, because that would have been great. I think I know why, how I'm pulling the wrong ones as well. Access the terminal and use the calendar option to summon the Providence partners to a meeting. Good work. The meeting has been booked. The partners should be moving up here shortly. Huh. Looks like the lounge can be sealed off for private conversations. Handy. Excellent. I see the partners moving. Hello, you sir. should join their meeting. 
Time to end this, 47. Yep. What's this? Just wait for the partners to be alone. Good feeling, Baxter. Then you can activate the room's we'll lockdown get this thing feature. Back on track in no time. We're gonna show that little shit Edwards the true meaning of power. I'm, I'm out. Where is he? Where's the sheik? It's a busy day for him. The partners are alone now. I'll activate the panel controlling the room's security features. When you're ready, use it to start the show. I trust his people will have multiple scenarios ready. What's this? Carl? Did you do that? I certainly did not. I have Nah. No idea what's going on. Gentlemen, what's the meaning of this? You. You are the one responsible for all this. Gray. What do you want? Something that has been a long time coming. Revenge. All right, that's that then. Finally, Stuyvesant and Ingram are gone. Providence will soon be no more than a bad memory. One sec, I kind of need to. Um... Thank you. I'll meet you at the rendezvous on the edge of town. Gray has this very much. Big, this Cree has Lucas Cree has a very big monologue, and I've heard it about four times, and it's just like, yeah, no, I'm done. I'm just gonna. I know I shouldn't cut that out, but it's a very good monologue, and I have heard it, so it's just like, hey, no one saw it. It's a stealth mission. It's a stealth mission, no one heard me. Whee! Yep, there you go. 2000 XP. Merely because I've done it before. I want to find the exploding golf ball. I want to find the exploding golf ball because that way you can just get up there, put it in his golf bucket, and walk off. He will do it himself. And it will be an unnoticed kill. That was the kind of escape of, uh, I've got nowhere to go but down. I think I'll go down. That's your winning face. I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the constant. Yeah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once. We can do it again. And, well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. Wow, the graphic. 
I don't like executive decision makers. Look, you don't have to follow her, you know? <laughs> Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. Mm. If the ICA knows what you did, she'll make it right. She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. Oh, God. I hope you like the rain, 47. Miss Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. Oh, yeah, this is definitely a story. Don't be silly. I just played the hand. This whole thing began in um, you had me. Hitman 2016. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. Surely you understand. There's like different ways you can do the missions. It's so much fun. The World of Assassination Trilogy is definitely a game I would recommend playing. I would never not recommend it playing the the game because that is so good. That's actually is such a good way to do things. Because I've done that, that, and that. I've done all the story missions because all the story missions are all so fun because they all get you get to do so many different things and it just takes just a little bit longer to do it and it's so fun because you get to see different ways of them dying um my first go through of this game i had the knife i had two knives guess where those knives ended up i'll see for this for death in the family for this mission that's a pretty good one because it can be a murder mystery Definitely got the lockpick, got that. That's fine. Oh, I got them. I got... They didn't like it when I threw knives at them. They didn't like it for long, but that's where it was. It was like, what? Two. Done. And you got the same thank you, it's done. Whereas I didn't realize, oh, that's a thing you can shoot down. And it's something that can. Uh, Alexa Carlisle and her three adult children, uh, younger brother Zachary, grandson, and daughter-in-law, are all gathered to conduct. Carlisle's it's something that can really mess Curiously, them up. I think. Carlisle summoned a famous London PI soon after arriving this morning. Which, by the way, I've done that one. Is yet unclear. Now, I've done the PI mission. I've done the where you have to where you can bury your basically so bury your alive. Field HQ and intercept all calls going in and out of the estate. Any appeal for backup is going to fall on very deaf ears. Good luck, gentlemen. Oh yeah, you, you just literally knock her in, and that's it. You either either knock her out, or you just put her in the grave, fill her up. Yeah, that's how it's done. I I can't remember, but you bury this bitch.
Fucking butlers, man. Always them. Wow, I got here way, way in advance of the other guy. That is Phineas Whitmer, the famous private investigator hired by Madame Carlyle this morning. I'm curious why he's here. Maybe you should do some detecting yourself, 47. A famous private investigator summoned by Alexa Carlyle has arrived at Thornbridge Manor. If you take his place, it may be an opportunity to get close to Madame Carlyle. Indeed. I guess what I'm going to be doing. Mr. Whitmer, thank you for Hello. coming on such short notice. I could clip her right now, but I'm not gonna. Fallen upon us, and I need a quick resolution handled with absolute discretion. Results and discretion are my speciality. Very well. I suppose you will want to start at the crime scene. In my experience, a thorough examination of a potential crime scene is half the job done. Good. Fernsby will take over. I like how. She doesn't question how he's speaking now with an American accent rather than an English one. Mr. Whitmer, I understand that you've traveled from London. Would you care for some refreshments? Or do you prefer to go straight to Mr. Zachary's sleeping quarters? I prefer to get started. As you wish. If you'll follow me, sir. I feel obliged to point out that current affairs surrounding Madame Carlyle. This mission is very good. It's very interesting to do. With the recent announcement of her death. Honestly, I'm just gonna say this. To do the if you're gonna play Hitman 3, do the murder mystery first. Do that first, it's so worth it. You'll probably learn that the staged funeral is scheduled to take place tomorrow. Madam's children were not informed until this morning that their mother was in fact not dead at all. So please bear with them if they seem affected by the rather unusual situation. I trust I do not need to remind you that there will be consequences if word gets out that Madame Carlyle is still alive. I'll consider her I'll... dead when I leave. <laughs> oh, don't worry. Before you inspect the crime, there will be nothing in the way of saying she's alive by the end of this. I guarantee it. He was found dead in his bed this morning. The door was locked from the inside, and a suicide letter was found in his room. However, Madame Carlyle suspects foul play, and will not accept that he took his own life. I've prepared some information for you, so please do come and see me when you've finished your investigation of the crime scene. This is Mr. Zachary's room, to my right. A locked room murder mystery, 47. I trust you'll get to the bottom of this. Why don't you use your camera to scan on the dead body, 47? The all-purpose camera. Indicate a rare, short-lived 
plant poison killed him. Spread shows time of death at around 10 o'clock last night. You do know your poisons, 47. Yep. 206. Zachary's suicide note. Also, a sample of handwriting. It could be relevant to compare to other samples to establish its authenticity. Let's just have a quick look around. Zachary was shopping for New Wellingtons last night. Not exactly what you would expect from someone suicidal. Don't mind me, I just, uh... Yes. A hidden door. It's a secret passage. This could explain how the door was locked from the inside. Photocopy of the floor plans. Somebody's been researching the secret ins and outs of Thornbridge Manor. Huh. I believe you've done a thorough search of the crime scene, 47. Maybe it's time to. But not thorough enough. Oh, it's thorough future. enough. I'm curious about the information he's prepared for you. Security rules. You know, if you wait in that room, she will come in. You can clip out there and then. It's and it, it's a way to go. I've seen it happen. I've seen it done, but honestly... Mr. Fernsby, I'm done with the crime scene. Did you establish a time of death? Zachary died around 10 o'clock last night. Well, that means the staff were off duty. And Madame Carlyle and her security didn't arrive until this morning. That leaves Madame's family and yeah. myself as the only persons here when he died. And before you ask, no, I do not have an alibi. I, don't know. I was alone in my office at the time of death. Here is the material that I prepared for you. Okay. It's a list of the possible suspects and their quarters. Hopefully that will help you keep track of your findings. Please come and see me when you've solved the case. And I will take you to Madame Carlyle. This is very useful information, 47. So how does one solve a murder mystery, 47? Motive, means, and opportunity, Patrick Carlyle. May I suggest Can you, tell you me ask where the you suspects were for yesterday alibis? Evening? Or perhaps you prefer searching Jesus, the manor for clues first? Butler, isn't he? he ratted me out. Yep. Elaine, he did. Privacy, would you? Don't tell Mother, okay? She's really tense these days, and the last thing I need is more hassle. I took that pretty blonde, um, Rosie, uh, for an yep. evening stroll. I, I mean, how the fuck am I expected to cope for an entire weekend in this shithole? I'm bored out of my mind. If that's all, I think I'll get back to my slow death by boredom. What did you think of Zachary? Oh, creepy as hell. No ambition. Imagine deciding to live in a museum. I you know, the father that. says Zachary and Alexi used to be two of a kind. He had a great future ahead of him. Then suddenly, he just gave up everything. What an idiot. Thank God Daddy chose looks and brains over pedigree when he married Mum. I don't have to worry about the inbreedings her customary more circle. So, is that it? Did you see anything suspicious last night? No. I reckon Zachary topped himself. I know I would have. Or perhaps Mr. Fernsby. I don't like him. He could have done it. Perhaps Mr. Fernsby, he could have done it. He doesn't like him. Possibly.
bedroom. We're the new heads of the family, after all. Oh, shit. Gentlemen. Shit. Help. That fucked me over. Oh. The murder mystery, forty-seven. Motive, means, and opportunity, I believe. Patrick, Carla. may I suggest you ask the Can you tell me where alibis? you were yesterday? Or perhaps evening? you prefer searching the manor for clues first. That sneaky butler, is he? he ratted me out. All I was after was a goddamn meat cleaver. Making you wash his car twice? Give us some privacy. Patrick's. Don't tell mother, okay? She's really tense these days, and the last thing I need is more hassle. I took that pretty blonde, um, Rosie, uh, for an evening stroll. I mean, how the fuck am I expected to cope for an entire weekend in this shithole? I'm bored out of my mind. If that's all I think I'll get back. What did you think of Zachary? Yep. <laughs> Creepy as hell. No ambition. Imagine deciding to live in a museum. Yeah, no, I mean, who would want to live in a museum? He had a great future ahead of him. Then suddenly, he just gave up everything. What an I couldn't get rid of it quick Thank enough. God Daddy chose looks and brains over pedigree when he married Mummy. I don't have to worry about the inbreedings her customary in these circles. So, did you see anything suspicious last night? No. Yeah. Uh, Zachary topped himself. I know I would have. Or perhaps Mr. Fernsby. I don't like him. He could have done it. It's always the butler, isn't it? On top of everything, Rosie thinks she's in love with young Patrick. I mean, that's a breaking heart happening if I ever saw one. Poor thing. Alexa back from the dead, a make believe funeral, a murder mystery. Oh, all too much. Alan, tell me what Emma did when she arrived. Tell me. She scolded Mary for not making the bed. Rosie, when she tell me what you did last night. I'm in trouble, aren't I? No. I, I spent the evening with Patrick. We met after dinner and I went home at one in the morning. He said he needed someone real to talk to. I can promise you that. When he looks at you, it makes you feel like the center of the universe. Like a real princess. But now he just ignores her. Well, he's under a lot of pressure. He's an idiot. That's what he is. But he was such a gentleman. He gave me his coat and all. Rosie, you need to forget about Patrick. No good's gonna come of it. Stick to your own kind. Oh, you mean like Chris? He treated me like shit. All he wanted to do That was is the door to Mr. Fernsby's office. Good thing I opened it earlier. Zachary's diary. This is big. He was about to confess to the world that he and Alexa murdered their older brother, Montgomery, 46 years ago. And apparently, Mr. Fernsby helped make the murder look like an accident. And 47, the handwriting doesn't match the suicide letter in his room, proving he didn't write it himself. Okay. Stop being busy, you bitch. Come on. You know Listen all I'll day. He pours emotion. I'll come back to him. God's sake, Emma. But why don't we get any kind of explanation? It's bloody hmm? Finally. Talk to me. But why don't we get any kind of explanation? It's bloody rude. That's why I'll it come is. back to that. Come here. Come 
Rebecca Carla, can you tell me about yesterday evening? We don't really see much of each other, my brothers and I. I suppose it takes our mother's funeral to bring us together, and even then, it's not like we sit on each other's laps. Now, let's see. Patrick, Gregory's son, disappeared straight after dinner. You know, I think he might be in some sort of trouble. Edward wanted to go as well, but Gregory convinced him... No, he just went out for a date. He went off for a pint Quite against like all but... I swear Gregory enjoys Edward's discomfort over staying here. I had a conference call with my New York office at nine, so I spent three hours on my laptop in my room and went straight to bed afterwards. I don't know about Emma. She did act a bit strange. You know, I bet she was making lists for changes needing to be done once she gets her hands on Thornbridge Manor. Quite the shock she had when Mother arrived during breakfast. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Tell me about Zachary. Did he act strange last night? You know, now you mention mm. he was a lot more chatty than usual. He wanted to know about my connections in the publishing business. Apparently, a friend of his is writing a book, which strikes me as very peculiar. I didn't think he had any friends. It could be internet friends. Anything else you feel like mentioning? I may be wrong, but I saw Mr. Fernsby, the butler, leave Zachary's room early this afternoon. And he seemed a bit startled when he saw me in the hallway. It's probably nothing. Oh, and one more thing. Please be kind to Edward. Fucking rich people, it man. Jesus so Christ. Is there anything else you want to... Uh, can I ask? No. Is that everything, Mr. Whitmer? That is indeed everything. Gregory Carlyle, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Oh, you're Excuse wondering me. about my alibi, Mr. Detective. Well, um, I left Thornbridge around half eight for a pint with Edward. Yes, the classic a pint. Night at the inn. On the other hand, staying here with Zachary, my obnoxious sister, and a wife sporting another one of her headaches would have been a fate worse than death. <laughs> the, the, the short of it, Zachary was very much alive when we left. I stayed for the last shout, and I was back here. Yeah, last shout around eleven o'clock. You want to pry from my Tell me about Zachary. Zach, huh. such a sad old sod, a bit heavy on the bottle, but who could blame him? The only company he had was his rare plants and mother, who travels more than she stays here. Honestly, I can't say which is the bigger bore. He's better off dead. Is that all? Wow. Okay. To tell me. Nothing really. I'm just enjoying the show. Our perfect mother obviously fucked up, didn't she? She fucked up, head. indeed. You know, she's explained nothing to us. I think she's scared to own up to her own mistake. Emma Carla, can you tell me where you were yesterday evening? Surely I'm not a suspect. I need to account for everyone. Well, I spent the evening with my family, but I got an awful migraine and had to take to bed. Everyone can attest to that. I believe I went up when the boys sat down for a drink around eight o'clock. Anything else you want to know? How did you feel about yeah. Zachary? I might as well be honest. His presence was always awkward. But how do you have a meaningful conversation with a man who only cares about plants? In my opinion, Alexa bears some responsibility for how this ended. She supported his self-limiting behavior by letting him live here. Is that all? Have you noticed no. anything else out of the ordinary? Nothing special comes to mind. Except, perhaps, I did get a feeling that Zachary was depressed, not just sad. I suppose he realized that he had no one with Alexa gone. Even Alexa must feel the pangs of guilt over that one. I very much I doubt it. She was dead. Then again, guilt isn't her strong suit. Next, last guy. Poet, but you're right. It's beautiful. How are you not? Are you... How are you busy? 
Professor Edward Carlyle, can you tell me your whereabouts for last night? Oh, yes, this dreadful business with Zachary. I stay at the local inn. You see, I prefer not to spend the night here at Thornbridge Manor. My brother Gregory came along for a nightcap. He would never admit it, but I think he understands that I find this whole thing upsetting and wanted to provide some comfort. I believe we went to the stag's Can I pass along? Oh, okay. Eight. If that's all, I have a speech. Can you tell me about Zachary's behavior last night? I certainly didn't expect him to commit suicide. Sure, he was upset by a mother's supposed death. Suicide, they say. But he seemed more engaged than usual. <sighs> you should ask Rebecca. Excuse they me. had a long talk. Did you know that he hadn't left Thornbridge Manor in nearly 50 years? His plants, mother, and the staff, all the company he had. Anything else I can do to help? Did you notice anything else out of the ordinary? You mean apart from the fact that we came here to bury our mother and she shows up alive and kicking? Zachary found dead in his bed this morning? Or perhaps that the planned funeral is still taking place and I have to do the eulogy? And the mother will surely have strong opinion on it afterwards. But I can't really fix it. Hello there. I can improve my stream on what? Bad news, I'm afraid. Uh, we don't have any extra fuses. Ethel looked everywhere. Got it. No power, no point. I don't believe you. Respecting. This is a table showing lethal dosages for the poison used to kill Zachary. Broken lab equipment. It looks like it was recently used, though. Something Let's go is French. Female, age 65 to 79, 60 to 64 kilograms. I'd say Madame Carlyle is next in line for a poisoning. Am I seeing a wrench? Why can't I get a wrench? Guys, why can't I get a wrench? I need a wrench. Where, if I was a wrench, where would I be? Yo, friends, we. Didn't you say something about a shake before? Sorry, but I think uh, I. Right. Yeah, what you say? Actually, trying to find the rooms I want to go in. That is the door to Rebecca's room. I can see from the log that Rebecca was in a conference call from 9 p.m. to midnight Jesus. last night. Where's the second clue? Okay. I could whop someone, but I don't really want to. Mm. 
That door leads to Emma and Gregory's room. And stuff there. There's something else in here, I know that much. Don't need that. Now this is interesting. Okay. A letter from Emma's mother stating that Emma is the illegitimate child of Alexa's late older brother, Montgomery. And listen to this. She claims to have witnessed Alexa and Zachary murder him. Mm. The plot thickens. Yes, the plot has thinned a bit there. Okay, so... There's something I want in one of these damn rooms, and can I shite find it? Usually the stuff I need is kind of lit up. Oh, hello. I need to get a listing of asset transfers from the Carlisle account HTC depot number 56. I could have pushed them out, but I didn't. This all confirms yeah. that Arthur Edwards stole everything from Madame Carlyle. Perhaps you should let her know how bad it is, 47. Uh, I will in a minute. How do I get... How the fuck do I get back up? There's literally one more room I want to go in, and I can't find the fucking thing to use. Hi. I don't remember where I can get the thing. I need a wrench. Uh, it's not that yet, no sir, but Merry Christmas, sir. Uh, sir or madam, I don't judge. How are you doing? I need a wrench. Why can't I get my hands on a goddamn wrench? So about half an hour to go. Getting there. How you doing, Nessa? You doing good? Nice. I have a new picture. I always have a new picture. I'm good. Uh, right now, I'm just on the lookout for a wrench. I have a wrench. I'm still on the lookout for something else. Uh, 
Uh, one sec. Did you actually see that? Look at that. Don't think I showed one sec. Let's uh, let's uh, let's uh, where are you? Uh, oh yes, you did. Nice. No worries. Oh, excuse me. I'm getting gassy. But it ain't good. So do you like the uh the MILF of war? I should ask her out. Get to know her in a personal way. You could try. Rosie told me Rebecca. Oh, there's a wrench. Now I've got two wrenches. So I found the wrenches, I've repaired the thing. I also I need to find one last thing. I can never remember where it is. I swam. Missing item. Where do I find this item? I need Arta. Uh, I need to know because I can't remember where they are. Okay, it's maybe plus fly up. Oh, obviously it's uh, 
course. Nice. Okay, got my thing. And an old letter forty seven. Never opened. Must have slid under the secret door nearly 46 years ago. It states that Alexa Carlyle's older brother, Montgomery, wanted Alexa to become the heir to the Carlyle Empire instead of himself. Hmm. Interesting. Hello, sir. You're an excellent detective, 47. Uncovering truths half a century old. If you frame... Okay. it correctly. I believe you could use the information to convince Madame Carlyle that Zachary committed suicide. Maybe you should ask Mr. Fernsby to see her. Or perhaps you feel like digging a bit more. It's like other hidden rooms. But I can't remember where. Hello, sir. Hello. Just gonna ask. Can I ask her one last question? Don't think I did. No, can't ask. Damn it. Okay, one sec. Hmm. Question suspects. I've questioned them all. I've literally questioned them all.
I've questioned them. Maybe Fernsby? Where the hell is Fernsby? Sir, got orders. Can't let you through. Sorry for the inconvenience. Where would the butler be? Aside from bottling. Did you want to check on that undertaker in charge of the funeral? I got word he's upset with Madame Carlyle. Just keep calm. I am ready to present my conclusion to Madame Carlyle. Very well. If you'll follow me, sir. Who did that? Who did, who did the follows? One sec. I actually need to get that up. Hey, with the follow! How you doing today? I don't know why the thing is not working. I don't know why it's not working. I really don't. It's annoying me. Hello, sir. I get a drink before us. This will be the last um, part of the stream because tomorrow I might. I swear to God, if I gotta get first, I will just rage. This is Madame Carlyle's office. Please step inside. Your detective skills have gained you access to the lion's den, 47. Now, go claim your reward. So, Mr. Whitmer, you've reached a conclusion. Take a seat. Please, and go ahead. Done. I can't do it. Your brother committed suicide. I need to see some evidence to believe that, Mr. Whitmer. Zachary was found dead in a room locked from the inside. Damn it! He died from a rare poisonous plant he cultivated himself. He believed you were dead, and a suicide note explained that he did not have the courage to go on without you. That's what I don't buy. I cared for him deeply, but the truth is he hated my guts. My death would not make him commit suicide, I can promise you that. Perhaps the death of your older brother, Montgomery, then. I have found evidence showing that you and Zachary killed him nearly 50 years ago. I believe that was when Zachary turned recluse. Your brother recently uncovered proof that your past deeds were for nothing. A letter from Montgomery stating that he wanted you, Madame Carlyle, to take over from your father instead of himself, as you were better suited to the job. Everything would have turned out the way you wanted without anyone dying. What broke Zachary once, now destroyed him. And you saw this letter? I did. Oh, Zachary. How royally I fucked up. Mr. Whitmer, I'm sorry, I, 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 I just need to gather my thoughts. Right, the payment for your services, have you decided on an amount? Yes. Arthur Edwards. You have a file on him. Arthur Edwards, how do you... I see. 
Well played. For many, many years I feared what I'd see when I finally met death. And now you sit before me and I feel only peace. You see, I believe life is a fair fight and I lost spectacularly in every way imaginable. It is time for me to leave the pit. Oh, before I get to that, your reward, the fire you want is in the safe. Agreed, so. A last wish from a dying woman. Get Edwards and make him suffer. So long. I need some privacy. Thank you. Good work, 47. That's the file on Arthur Edwards secured. Time to take care of Madame Carlyle. Nah. Mission complete. Well done, forty seven. There you go. Now, you can push her off, but if you've accused Zachary of killing himself, she tops off, she just jumps off anyway. She just basically offs herself and it's like, oh, okay, I'm hey. done. Yeah, hey, one may. She did it herself. I'm just trying to find an exit in this big house. Keeping the walking stick. Forty seven. They're everywhere. Go get out. It's the Constantine. Shit. He shit? Where'd he shit? Yeah, he shouldn't be shitting like that. If you find enough evidence, you can accuse Emma of doing it. And I think I have. I think I've done that. Silent Assassin! Yes! I've never had silent assassin look I have it. Diana can't help you now. You need to find Olivia. She will know what to do. I wish there had been more time. And then there were none. Thank you, Miss Burnwood. Now. It's my turn. Damn it.
Stay down. Boss wants you alive. Yeah? How about now? Over here! Cover me! Walk away! <laughs> or what? You gonna take us all on? Don't. Tell the constant to start running. God damn it. You think you've won? 47 is out there. And 47 never misses his mark. Neither do you, Miss Burnwood. That's what makes you valuable. You're delusional. Wow. You think I would betray 47? Trust me. You owe him nothing. What is this? I told you we could help each other. And I meant it. I look forward to your call. Wow, okay. Gray is gone. Go to Berlin and stay out of sight. all that's left now. Why do I get the feeling 47 just literally killed them all? Just went, no, that's him. Literally one by one silent kill, silently took them out. I will continue with um, Hitman 3 tomorrow because I think there's like three more missions left. I think. I've had fun. I have had so much fun with uh, Hitman 3. I've had fun with the World of Assassination in general. I really have. I really, really have. But... For now, it is time to end the stream. It's been four and a half hours, and it is seven minutes to Christmas Day 2022. I kind of need to, I kind of want to just rest, chill, and basically enjoy a little bit of the night before I go to bed. Because... I I'm tired. I am thirsty. I could go I could go a little longer tomorrow but not by much because I don't know how long I'm gonna be over at my uncle's and I don't know if I'm gonna be doing like an afternoon stream or an evening stream or what. But I have enjoy I have been enjoying this game. I forgot how good Hitman is. And we are starting this mission off as we would if the game was brand new. So we'll be putting it there. Thank you all for watching. I've been Bankai. You guys have been absolutely goddamn awesome for staying with me for the last four and a half hours on this very nice christmas eve i will see you all possibly tomorrow for another game another game of hitman i think anyway take care folks have a good day have a good saturday have a good christmas day tomorrow and when this comes out on youtube have a happy new hope you guys have had a good new year i hope you do i hope 2023 is treating you guys right so i'll see you guys next time